So I own a couple of bonsai. At the moment, they sit out the back to get full sun and I water them every day, but I hardly get to see them apart from that. So I thought, how about if I move the bonsais from outside inside so I get to see them more often? The only issue with that is obviously there's no sun inside. So what I'm gonna do is make an open face cabinet. This will sit inside the cabinet and there'll be a grow light on the top. It's not the purple blue grow lights that you're probably thinking of. It's a full spectrum one and it's daylight. I'll just grab it and show you. So this is gonna sit right above the plant. From the research that I've done, this will keep the plant alive and well and growing. Not as much as the sun would, but enough to keep this little guy going. If you know a little bit about bonsais, once you put them in a small bonsai pot, basically you're just maintaining its growth. You're not really trying to make it grow because obviously the roots can't expand. And if you know a lot about plants, usually the root structure determines how much structure you have on top. So, little pot, little tree, bonsai. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I've got my cut list to make the shelf. I'm gonna cut some plywood and get this cabinet started. Also, this cut list is on my website to purchase for five bucks. Um, it's samwilkinsonmakes.com. As you can see, it's all measured and labeled. So what I'm gonna do is cut out all these pizzas, label them all, and I'm gonna start assembling this cabinet. Not using any technical joinery, I'm gonna use pocket holes to screw into the bottoms. And also for that bottom layer shelf, I'm gonna use pocket holes, boom. The drawer will cover the pocket holes so you won't see anything. I got it all assembled. I've got this bottom shelf in. I'm gonna put a drawer on here later, but first, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually add some adjustable shelves here because as the plant gets bigger or smaller, or if I wanna change the plant, I can adjust the hood of the light to make sure that it gets adequate light to grow. The next thing I'm gonna do is make my hood for the light to sit onto. So what I'm gonna do is I've already cut a piece that will fit on, the, on that adjustable shelf. Now I'm gonna get my light. I'm gonna find this, to make the light the center of this piece of timber. I'm gonna actually get a pencil and trace it out. I wanna offset that line so it's about five to 10 mil in. Then I'm gonna cut a hole so the light can come through, but this can still safely sit on top. to the wall I'm gonna use a French cleat system so what I'm gonna do is gonna attach a piece of timber here cut this whole thing on an angle and then on the wall I'll put another piece and that will click in and that will those two angles will meet and that will hold it in hopefully that's good enough if it's not what I'll do is I'll take that drawer out and I'll actually screw into the studs from the bottom and also I'll add some screws in from the top behind that hood so you can't really see <laughs> All 
All right, off camera, I gave this a quick sand. Now I'm gonna apply two coats of polyurethane and in between coats, I'll go over it with 400 grit. And with a little bit of help, I'll take it upstairs and I'll hook it onto the wall. And if I need to do extra fixings, I'll do it then. All right, I took the whole cabinet upstairs. It was a mission. I didn't film it because it was pretty messy. Anyways, that's upstairs. I know a lot of you don't have a CNC machine, so I'll make this nice and quick. Basically, I'm gonna use a 60 degree v carve bit, and I'm gonna cut out the name in some three quarter inch birch plywood. And then what I'll probably do is stick that to the back wall. I'm probably gonna use like um, double sided tape or even blue tack, just because I kind of want it to be removable just in case in the future I don't want it to be there. I don't wanna have to have a permanent fixing. After this is done, I'll take it upstairs and I'll show you how I mounted the cabinet onto the French cleat system. It worked a charm and actually I didn't need any extra screws. <laughs> Basically, I attached a piece onto the wall like that, and then this whole cabinet slid on top of that and it won't come off. All right, I've got this mounted. I've put my plan inside and I couldn't be happier. This thing turned out awesome. As you saw a little bit earlier, I cut the name of the plant, Junipus squamata, maybe. If I didn't say it correctly, write down how I should say it in the comments phonetically. So I wanna put this here like this on an angle. I'll just use some blue tack, just like that. If this thing looks like it's about to die, what I can do is bring this hood down and that will make the light closer to the plant, giving it more available light to grow. Stick around, I'm just gonna get some nice photos and I hope to see you in the next video.